No, there's no way. They actually did it. The Mad Lads went and did it. They made a tab centaur, the wobbly warrior. There's no way this thing is actually gonna work, is it? If we, mm, no, no, it it does. <laughs> It works about as well as we could hope. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, I planned on doing more viewer recommendation battles, but as soon as I put a call out on Twitter, a bunch of you guys replied saying that there are new mods out and they've got some stuff that I'm really gonna wanna see. Which has definitely piqued my interest, so I've got everything installed, we're gonna take a look at all the weird new modded units that have been made since the last time I played. I have no idea what to expect, so if I can get through them all, then I'll do some of your recommendations, but if not, then I'll just save them for another episode. So some of you guys might remember, we spent some time working our way through the new levels for the challenge campaign. You know, because every now and then when Tabs updates, they tack on a few new levels to the ends of pre-existing campaigns, so you never really beat them. And we were doing a pretty good job, you know, up until the point where I got stuck. It's really difficult for me to show you guys all of the weird new stuff being introduced and put on my tryhard pants to beat some of the hardest levels ever made. But that being said, I think things are going to be different today because for some reason, the new modded units are free. It doesn't seem particularly fair, you know, it almost feels like cheating. But at the same time, I don't even know what a spider mage does. Like, there aren't any spiders in tabs, so how exactly are you gonna go about jerking off on the enemy? Oh, they're webs! I was gonna say for a second, I, I thought I summoned splooge mages. <laughs> yeah, they got little spiders on their hands. <laughs> All right, well, that seems surprisingly effective and ah. Uh, you guys may want to think happy thoughts and pump harder. That ballista is not going to web on itself. <laughs> Maybe take a couple big steps forward. You're so close. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> what is this? Just, just take like two big steps forward. That's all I'm asking from you guys. Oh, it sticks on the buildings and stuff. I mean, they're definitely tabs units, because they are absolutely brain dead. Come on, one of you has to be able to pull a Peter Parker. Please! You see, it, it's not unfair. I should probably mention a lot of these units don't have pictures or clothes or anything like that because they're still being developed, so I'm hoping at some point the Spider Mage won't web his own feet. I do really like him. I'm thinking maybe if we help him out with the Trojan Chicken, we could get a little bit further. Oh, the chicken clucks now. Well, isn't that different? <laughs> and he rolls forward rather than just falling over. Kind of. Oh, and he pops. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get those units out, shall we? Oh, no. This was a mistake. We're just gonna web all of the chicken bits together. <laughs> Why didn't I think this through? Okay, the chicken disappeared and it took my frame rate with it. Are we okay? Oh no. The spider made you fix your allies as well. Crap. Oh, no, guys, please. I, I gotta take control of one of you because you're not gonna move forward. I know it. We need a hero. Please. Just... There you go. That's all you gotta do. You just need a little helping hand. Having all your units be free is a bit of a disadvantage at times because you don't know if they're the kind of thing that should cost a hundred or a hundred thousand. <laughs> like the celestial sounds badass and I have no sweet clue what it is. So that's a tabs unit, huh? It's like Pac-Man had a child with the sun. Well, if we assume this nameless faction works the same way as all of the other ones in the game, you know, ascending level of awesomeness and power, then this guy being near the beginning probably means he's not supposed to be particularly expensive. How about we go ahead and use a, a dozen of them or so? Something like that. That might be fair. <laughs> I have no idea. These guys could suck the souls out of their butts and I would be just as surprised as I am now. Okay, well they explode on impact and they don't seem to care too much about catapults. I think I saw a couple of them get picked off by arrows. <laughs> they got real googly eyes, but they are pretty friggin' powerful. 
here I am, messing around with googly-eyed solar tadpoles. Meanwhile, Blue Team is, like, actually trying. Like, they sent out, like, a full-blown phalanx. Fortunately, we've got our own shields. We've seen the wall shield already. It doesn't do much, but the mirror shield we haven't seen before. It's a little bit laggy, but I would love to see this thing reflect arrows. The enemy only has snakes. If you could reflect snakes, that would be amazing. If you could also not crash my game, that would be also amazing. Oh, okay, we've got some snakes incoming. Please reflect, please don't crash, please just do whatever it is you're gonna do so that I can end this. Oh, it does reflect. It absolutely can reflect snakes. That's amazing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try this in sandbox because Tabs really does not like reflections in the slightest. So if we have one mirror shield versus one snake archer, what's gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> That's ingenious! Tabs has desperately needed something that's good against projectiles. Like something that's actually solid offensively rather than defensively. And sending a snake straight back to the archer's dick is pretty offensive. Let's try that again, except for this time we've got a regular archer, an ice archer, and a firework archer. And I don't know if I have any debug mods on, so that might be a giant firework archer. There's really only one way of finding out. Let's, oh no, it's a regular one. We're, we're good. And, oh, it deflected all of them except for the ice archer. Interesting. I wonder if that was a fluke. Did he just shoot low and hit below the mirror or did it actually go through? Are you going to get another shot off? You are. And it goes right through. Weird. Well, at least now we know how to beat the mirror if we ever have to face off against them. Well, now that we know how they deal with quality, how about we try quantity? The Watcher should be able to put quite a few shots on those mirrors. Are they gonna deflect just one or all of them? Oh, it deflects everything! Oh, no, it doesn't. It deflected quite a few, but there were also a bunch that got through there. Uh, Where did, oh, there he is. So it looks like six is their max. So seven is the lucky number. If you can get exactly seven arrows onto a mirror in a short period of time, then you won't get years of bad luck. You'll just kill them. This is definitely one of the most unique modded units I've ever seen in the game, and it serves a real purpose. I, I just hope they can make it actually work, because right now it just murders frame rates. <laughs> Do you think they'd be able to deflect a bullet? It's not quite a bullet. It's more so a, a ball. I'm not even gonna try a bullet if, oh! They can deflect a ball. With the mirrors always shattering when they get hit or is that just with the high velocity? I, I think that might have happened with the arrows too, but it's still a really neat effect. All right then, let's put them to the ultimate test. We're gonna have them face off against real rootin' tootin' bullets and see how many they can reflect. <laughs> they might get a few, oh. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, they can only deflect one bullet. After that, the mirror is shattered. Oh, interesting. So that's what that effect means. I'm guessing at one point or another, they're actually gonna make it so that there won't be a mirror there. Oh, you didn't dodge that one, smart guy. <laughs> I know we've only looked at like three modded units so far, but I'm just gonna say it right now. This is hands down the best. That is so cool. No, there's no way. They actually did it! The Mad Lads went and did it! They made a Tab Centaur, the Wobbly Warrior! There's no way this thing is actually gonna work, is it? If we... Mm, no, no, it, it does. <laughs> it works about as well as we could hope. Seriously, though, look at these things! Like, if they could stay right side up, they'd be majestic! That went by way too quickly for us to assess these things. It looks like they start off with swords, but a bunch of them just dropped the swords and pulled a bow out of nowhere. It's kind of typical for a centaur to have a bow, I feel. This kind of thing you've seen in a lot of art, maybe? Let's see what exactly, yeah! Some of them break out a bow and then drop the bow and get more swords. Where are they keeping all of these swords? 
<laughs> and why or how are they flying? <laughs> okay, you know what? New challenge. I want a centaur with wings. I want to see just how far we could push this stupidity. I honestly feel a little bad plowing through the challenging campaign. Like I said, the hardest levels in the game using just nonsense. Like, what about the lightning archer? I would assume that it's an archer that probably pulls a Zeus. I'm not gonna use too many of these. Get the feeling they're gonna be real powerful. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. they summon a storm, but they're weak. That's an interesting trade-off. I kind of figured they would just be like Zeus with a bow, just launching lightning left and right, but they launched lightning that created a storm that I'm guessing was gonna launch some more lightning if they had survived. Maybe we can pull a bit of a Reese's Pieces? They can buy peanut butter and chocolate. We're gonna combine centaurs and lightning archers. <laughs> Hopefully that way we'll be able to see the majesty of the wobbly warrior as well as the storm. Oh yeah, it is just launching lightning down below. Oh, that's a few seconds. That is awesome. So it, it just kind of creates an area of effect where anything underneath is gonna get bolted, but then it dissipates pretty quickly. So it's kind of fair. This, however, not so fair. When the enemy tries to run away from a horseman, not really gonna get anywhere. How many nipples do you think a centaur has? Don't ask why I wonder these things. So we've already seen quite a bit of the Dark Archer. It's awesome, you know, he shoots black holes. It's all fine and dandy, but we've got a lot to get to in one episode. So I think I'm gonna move on to something new in the Super Archer, who is probably very expensive and powerful. Except the enemy has a lot of units to shoot and they're gonna dive on you pretty quick. So how about we toss a flail master up front? Yeah, he's got a whole bunch of spiky balls. <laughs> he should be able to toss them around for a little bit. At least long enough for you to get a shot off. What the hell was that? <laughs> Dude pulled a Yugi Moto. It's like a swords of revealing lights. <laughs> Oh yeah, that hurts. So, he can get run over, you know, he definitely doesn't deal with quantity well, but I would imagine if that was one strong unit, it would have got wooled. What if we hop back in here in the sandbox and have him fire on an ice giant? All of those swords should hit one unit, and I would imagine it's gonna hurt a whole bunch. Okay. Not enough, though. Oh, you're not quite the pushover. You actually survived a hit from the ice giant. Wait, really? <laughs> not two hits, though. Still impressive. How about we tone it down just a little bit and have you one-shot Blackbeard? Okay, that would still be pretty impressive. I just want to see him take out one big unit. Because everything should hit. No, a lot of that missed. And you're screwed. <laughs> Something tells me you're not gonna get too many shots off now because he is gonna be on you like Oprah Winfrey on a baked ham. Okay. Yeah, you really don't want the anchors in between your butt cheeks. It's just kind of a rule of thumb. Some of these factions actually do have a name. So I I'm guessing this is just the regular Renaissance faction and now the modded units are separate. So we could use the fan shield. Uh, what? That's interesting. Can you blow back projectiles? <laughs> Something tells me those propellers are not gonna hurt the Vikings all that much. You might get their chest hair tangled up or something like that, but it's probably just the power of wind. Yeah, like the shouters and the fan bearers and all those units that huff and puff kinda suck. So for modded pirate units, we've got chest throwers. Okay, you're gonna toss some chests and bomb fists? Ooh, I don't know how many of those I should be using. Those are some big bomb fists. <laughs> Let's see how much... Shri oh, there are units hiding in the boxes. That's ingenious. <gasps> okay, I didn't realize that. That's my bad. I surprised even myself. 
I just assumed that the chest throwers were gonna be like the bank robbers. You know, they throw something big and expensive and it crushes a couple people, but then you're left over with a pirate who can fight. I didn't expect them to fit a couple of pirates in each chest. <laughs> so, yeah! <laughs> That's really clever. I gotta say, I really like that. Oh, uh, were you guys, are you kidding me? They could summon more chests? Oh, that's way better. Yeah, I really like these now. I figured they would throw the chest and then they would rush in, but they're actually like chest summoners. It's kind of like the clam jam in a way. There are so many pirates on screen and they're so small. I guess it makes sense. You know, if you gotta fit them inside a chest, they can't have that much booty to them. <laughs> That's a really good unit. I, I really like that. There, there's so many creative units in this that make you wonder, why wouldn't they add this to the game? Why isn't this part of the real game? Because it's so clever. And then stuff that is part of the real game kind of just runs off the cliff to their death. <laughs> Okay, I started with like a dozen pirates. They reproduce like bunnies. Even the World War faction got an update. They have mustard gas all of a sudden, which seems a little iffy. I'm pretty sure that's against the Geneva Conventions. <laughs> What's a war crime when you're facing off against snuffies, right? If anything, it's just kind of illegal poaching. Oh, oh, I thought they were winding up for a charge, but they just kind of twitched and died. So they're like really good potion sellers. I, I could deal with that. Even our good friend the businessman got an update. He used to have two money Uzis, but now he's got one and a briefcase. What do you think is in the briefcase? I probably shouldn't have positioned them like that. They are gonna get absolutely demolished by these catapults. Oh no, they're still firing money. It's just a whole lot faster all of a sudden. Come on, guys, what's in the briefcase? Are we not gonna find out? There might not be anything in the briefcase. Maybe it's just ornamental. <laughs> Makes sense. They were stupidly overpowered with two of these things. Now they're just a little overpowered, I guess. They still fire real quick. Are the catapults gonna get the job done? I don't think we can, oh. We can't shoot money through the front of a catapult. Who would've guessed? Well, I'm willing to bet we can fire black holes through them, so how about we go back and actually give the Dark Archer a try? I mean, they could be different. I just hope it's not a full-blown black hole. If it's like a hobbit going off, then we may ruin everything. It is not a black hole at all. That's pretty evil. They just crumple them and then kind of toss them around in the air until dropping their corpses. Oh. Blue team still won. Well, at least we lost in style. That was wicked. You know, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I'm sorry I didn't get to your recommendations this episode. You know, technically, these mods were recommended by you guys. And I'm happy they were because they were absolutely hilarious. But now that you've seen all of the other weird units that we have, if you have any more ideas, leave some comments. So keep an eye on my Twitter, at the Captain Sauce. I'll ask for more recommendations. And I will go back to the last video and the last tweet thread and pick some stuff out there so that you guys didn't waste your time and return for more user battle soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.